DNS is obviously critical infrastructure for the enterprise. DNS is required for every single client to connect to every single application and service, whether those apps and services are internal to the company or those apps and services are external to the company. Enterprises deploy fairly complex DNS infrastructures to ensure they have survivability and low latency across the enterprise. It can get complex. The very basic level though, clients query to first hop servers, which tend to traffic direct to where private DNS is versus recursing out to the internet. And most likely in your DMZ, there are recursive servers that are allowed to go to the internet. The key point though, isn't the complexity of DNS. The key point is how DNS can be leveraged to help secure the enterprise. Today, most offerings focus all the way over here. They focus on the DNS queries that are recursing out to the internet. They deploy perhaps a DNS firewall, which allows this DNS server to compare that query against a list of things that are known to be bad or content types that might be of no interest to the enterprise and provide policies there. For instance, block them. They look at every query individually and with the way DNS infrastructure works, by the time they look at these queries, they're unaware of who the actual client was. Furthermore, if many clients are querying that same address, since there's cache servers further deep into the enterprise towards the edge, those cache servers answers and this firewall never gets touched. So there's a better way to do this. And a better way to do this so that we can achieve some pretty interesting goals. One, have visibility to every single client's DNS queries, which are a proxy for the intent of those devices. DNS represents what those devices want to do. And if we know all of those clients, we provide a tremendous amount of visibility. Secondly, if we can drive that capability towards the edge, now we can create real rich contextual policies that allow for at least privilege type access to DNS. So at Blue Cat, we're focused on securing and using DNS to help secure the enterprise by providing device facing DNS firewalls as opposed to internet facing DNS firewalls. Device-facing DNS firewalls allow us to, one, gain visibility to every single query from every single client, no matter where they are in the enterprise. Two, ensure that we see every single query as opposed to only the queries that make it through the cache servers. And very importantly, three, allow us to apply controls here right where those clients are going, so that those controls can include the context of what types of devices those are, what sort of users those are, and what they should be doing. White lists are always better than black lists, so we might have a network over here where these clients might be, for instance, point of sale machines or equipment in a factory, things where we know what they should be doing. We can employ policies that simply allow them to do those things and create that least privilege that's necessary. But further, if there is a compromise in the network, since we know every single client that queried, we can provide evidence of lateral movement, we can provide a focus in forensics in order to identify patient zero, we provide a gold mine of data to not just create policies from, but to feed into analytics solutions so you can take this data and utilize it in any sort of forensics as well. It's a critical differentiator in where this capability is. It requires a great deal of innovation in terms of deploying policy-driven DNS 
instead of configuration in explicitly configured DNS servers so that we can react quickly when there's any sort of compromise and prevent instead of simply filtering based on what's known to be bad. 